got a backlog of bat girls downstairs in the BRB TV bat cave that we are making our way through here on BRB TV, terrific non TV toys. And this one is from DC Collectibles. It is part of the DC Artist Alley series um, designed by Chrissy Zulo. And it is, of course, part of a set. You can see on the side of the box, we've got Wonder Woman, Hawk Girl, Supergirl, and Bat Girl, designed by Chrissy Zulo, sculpted by Irene Matar. And then on the back, when you turn the box over, we've got some other images of the other gals in that set. Um, this is the standard edition in color. There are also black and white variants here of each of those four characters. And then you've got, um, let me see, DC logo on the box, dccollectibles.com, comicshoplocator.com. And then you've got a little bit of verbiage on the Batgirl figure inspired by the popular comic convention experience. DC Artist Alley is an artist-focused limited edition designer vinyl figure line that merges indie design with the most iconic characters in the DC universe. And then it goes on to say, um, Chrissy Zulo was discovered via the DC Comics talent search a decade ago. Um, since then, she has worked in all facets of the industry, doing work on interiors, covers, and variants for multiple titles and publishers. Um, Created with a dreamlike fairy tale aesthetic, her work is modern in both origin. She uses both analog and digital tools in her work and subject matter. Video games, films by Miyazaki and Disney, Star Wars. While her work covers many subjects, an aura of joy and positivity emerges from each piece she creates. And you can see that here in this gal. So take another look at the box. On the bottom, we've just got the standard DC Entertainment verbiage, web addresses, manufactured in um, China, all of that. Then on the top, you've got another image of those four ladies. And then you've got Chrissy Zulu's um, initials there and signature. And the nice thing about this box is you can see what she looks like. It's got this part that opens up. And it looks like, um, of course, I have not opened this yet. It looks like some kind of collector's card here, which is nice. So Batgirl on her little bat scooter. We have got to check this out for this out-of-the-box experience um, right here on oh, Terrific Non TV Toys. Do I have tape there? No, no tape there. Let me open this and see. Oh, yeah, I've got tape over there. There we go. Now we're oriented correctly in this part of it. And I'm going to slide this out. I got this um, uh, 2019 or 2020. It was very recent. It might have been 2020. Um, very recent as of shoot time. Set that aside. And here's the girl. Oh, wow, that hair is bright red. Okay, we'll take her out of that portion. Got nice backdrop here. We will set aside way over here. And we've got some elastic twisty ties. And I'm gonna figure out the best way to go about this without injuring her. Like that. And like that. Okay. So she will come out of there first. Held in. I'll take the scooter out first. She's in there a little tough. Okay. I think I gotta cut this. There. Sawed through the plastic to make way for the cake, which of course is flared out. All right. Vinyl figure, and she's pretty heavy. Pretty solid, but yeah, that hair, that hair is the most distinguishing feature of this, of this figure. Look at that is really bright. And looking at the um, little view screen of my camera, it's pretty true to life as what I'm seeing right now as I'm shooting it. Um, green eyes for this girl. Although they kind of look like, oh gosh, it's such an interesting effect when you look at her eyeballs here. Um, it looks almost like a mood ring. It's like um, almost iridescent or glowing. You can't really see that on the camera, 
but it's almost like it changes color. Um, sometimes Batgirl is shown with green eyes, sometimes blue. Um, and nothing articulated. Um, she's more like a figure statue, I guess. There's nothing that's moving, not even the head or anything. And the blue of her outfit, very lavender in real life and looking more periwinkle blue through the camera lens. We got her little knee pads that are separate pieces there in yellow. Her very practical yellow boots, flat for crime fighting. <laughs> Quite protective of her. And her yellow gloves, pretty bright yellow. Utility belt with packs on it, no doubt filled with all kinds of gadgets that are helpful in her crime fighting. And then her um, semi-flexible cape in the back, yellow on the inside, flat black on the outside. All right. Okay. Very nice girl. All right. And let's take a look at that scooter. Does she stand? Yeah. A little wobbly, but she does. And here is the scooter. Um, again, no, nothing moving on it. No moving wheels either. Everything is stationary, so she's more like a vinyl um, statue in a way, although looking like a figure. And here's the number! I have one, two, oh boy, is that a six or an eight? Six, five. One, two, six, five. Try to get the camera to focus. There, that's a little better. One, two, six, five of 3,000 of these with the DC Comics logo, manufactured in China, trademark and copyright, etc. Um, so, that is the Lavender Bat Scooter. Kind of a younger approach for this Bat Girl. And I guess when we're posing her, I see that her hand has room for the handlebar over on this side. If I can slide that on. And the other one, same thing. Looks like you either slide or just bendable enough to do that. She's not going to stand on the scooter. She's like she's stopped with the scooter with her foot on each side of it on the pavement. Um, but very cute. All right, she's going to ride off to the scene of the crime and get those criminals. <laughs> Thanks once again for watching terrific non-TV toys and stay tuned to this channel for more Batgirl fun as well as a lot of other toys from a lot of different areas of pop culture. But wait, there's more. We can't close out. I can't forget um, this. <laughs> and I see as I'm examining it that there's like a pull tab here. So let me carefully pull that. It rips along there, kind of. Ah, kind of. Um, it's a little awkward. I'm going to end up tearing to get the card out, but we're going to have the full effect here because I don't even know if I'm going to keep the box, frankly. Okay. It's almost like a linen matte paper stock, card stock with the image, the logo, the artist's initials, and nothing on the back. All right, so there is that. Thanks again for watching.